Condoleezza Rice, I want to go back to you because I do want to talk about uh, uh, your book as well. But it, it does kind of tie into this, uh, uh, this tie to the South that you have. You were really in the uh, Bush administration among the first to recognize the real problem that Katrina presented for the administration. And you, you tell a very touching uh, story about uh, you were in New York uh, when you realized uh, what had happened and what it all meant. Uh, uh, talk a little bit about that. Yes, absolutely. I just want to say one other thing, too. Walter mentioned the segregation of pools in New Orleans. I didn't learn to swim until I was 25 because Bull Connor uh, wouldn't uh, segregated the pools in Alabama, and so I think we have some common experiences uh, with segregation. <laughs> um, yes, I was in fact um, the during Katrina. I knew that a big hurricane was coming. I was really tired. I'd been Secretary of State for nine, ten months. I went to New York uh, for vacation. I was going to take in a show, go to the U.S. Open, um, maybe do some shoe shopping, which I'm known to do. And as the hurricane unfolded, I did what I thought the Secretary of State needed to do. I made provisions for our passport office in, in New Orleans. I made sure we had a way to receive uh, the contributions that were coming, around, coming in from around the world. But then that morning, on Thursday morning, when I woke up, there I was in New York, and I thought, how could you have been so stupid to have not realized uh, that you are not just the Secretary of State, you're the president, one of the president's closest advisors. This is a national tragedy. And most importantly, you are the highest ranking African American in the administration. And Katrina has a tragically black face. What are you doing in New York? And I got a plane back to Washington that afternoon. And what did you do? Uh, you, you actually went down there, didn't you? Uh well, I did. I first went to the White House and uh, talked to the president about what I said was our race problem. Um, I talked to Bruce Gordon, who was then the president of the NAACP, uh, set up for him to meet with the president, and he was gracious about doing so. And then I did go south. I went to Mobile, actually, uh, to my home state of Alabama, uh, talked with people there who'd lost everything, went to an AME, African Methodist Episcopal Church, uh, that morning uh, for church, uh, because I really wanted it to be seen that the President of the United States had not just compassion, but real concern uh, for this unfolding tragedy in New Orleans. 